Hello all, welcome again to J1939 and this is a diagnostic session. Please subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe to our channel. As we already seen in overview that um, we have, we already finished with the J1939 manager, PGN as well as transport protocol. Now it's turn of diagnostics. Diagnostics application layer defines the SAE J1939 messages to accomplish diagnostic services and identifies the diagnostic connector to be used for the vehicle service tool interface. Diagnostic messages provide the utility needed when the vehicle is being repaired. So DMs are also used during vehicle operation by network electronic control module modules to allow them to report diagnostic information and self compensate as appropriate based on information received diagnostic messages include services such as uh, periodically bro broadcasting active diagnostic trouble codes identifying operator diagnostic lamp status reading or clearing diagnostic trouble codes reading or writing control module memory providing a security function stopping or starting message broadcast reporting diagnostics readiness monitoring engine parametric data etc california epa or eu regulated obd requirements are satisfied with a subset of specified connectors and the defined messages see in this session we will as usual we'll go through what are all the configuration options available and what are all the functions uh, available in this diagnostics diagnostics so the configuration in the j1939 underscore conf dot h contains definitions for the con configuration of network management module please set the symbols to an appropriate value in order to achieve a specific time and timing behavior for a detailed uh, for a detailed or specific uh, specific uh, specifications for a detailed specifications please refer to html documentation provided by your oem let's see some of the symbols or options available first symbol is dm1 dtc underscore size this symbol defines the number of diagnostic trouble codes dtc that is that can be transferred by a dm1 message next one is dm2 underscore dtc underscore size so similarly this is for dm2 message and dm16 bin size this symbol uh, is used uh, the maximum number of bytes that can be transferred by a dm16 message okay so let's right away get on quickly get on to the diagnostic functions available uh, <coughs> so the network management functions of J1939 protocol stack have a prefix of J1939 underscore capital D I H E diag. So hence uh, these are all the functions available diagnostic functions available. So add diagnostic trouble code for DM1 and DM2 that is add DTC diag add DTC add DTC previous clear DTC clear DTC previous and DAG mem request and DAG set lamp for DM1. So let's see what are, how the function, what is the syntax of each and every function, uh, what parameters it takes, and then what it returns. So one by one by one. Now G J DAG add DTC. This function adds a diagnostic trouble code to the buffer for DM1 and takes the parameters. Uh, suspect parameter ULS PNV in this case and failure mode identifier that is UB FM IV and uh, <coughs> failure occurrence count that is UB count V and returns nothing so hence it is void so remember the syntax void J1939 underscore diag AD, add DTC uh, will take uint 32 uint 8 U int 8 right so next is add DTC previous uh, this also 
This function adds a diagnostic trouble code to the buffer for DM2 and it takes parameters, suspect parameter, failure parameter and failure occurrence. So and returns nothing hence void. So uh, coming to the diag clear DTC. So this function clears the buffer for DM1 trouble codes. So transmission of DM1 message is automatically stopped. So it takes no parameters returns no value and uh, clear DTC this is similar to the above one and transmission of DM1 messages is automatically stopped and it takes no parameters and returns no values and finally we will get into couple of um, last two are mem request and uh, diag set clamp so first let's see at diag mem request it takes um, see this is the uh, you have UBS SRC addr address V and PTS memory V are the parameters so we pass these two this function is called upon occurrence of guarding event since the behavior of this function is application specific so it will be available in 1939 underscore user dot C so the next one is um, the function set lamp sets the startup of the lamp defined by the parameter UB LAMPV so lamp defined by 1939-73 is one parameter and lamp status is another parameter it takes and returns nothing hope we covered maximum of the functions and configuration symbols possible uh, in this session next we will get on to the network management after this video so please kindly subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe for more updates thank you